It's time to replace your chain. Or wait, is it? When was the last time you checked your chain wear? You should probably get a cheap and simple chain checker. And when it tells you that your chain is worn, it's time to replace it. He's dead, Jim. I'm gonna show you how to replace 11 and 12 speed chains, the most common chains we see on bikes here at the Pro's Closet, but it'll also work for any chain that uses a quick link or master link. You really only need one tool to perform this operation, and that is a chain breaker tool. Another nice to have, but not mandatory tool is a pair of quick link pliers. To remove your old chain, you can either use a chain breaker tool or a pair of quick link pliers. To use a chain breaker tool, pick any pin on the chain, line it up with your tool, and turn the handle until it drives the pin out of the chain. You've now cut your chain and you can remove it from your bike. With a pair of quick link pliers, find your quick link or master link. It should be pretty obvious because it'll look different from all the other links in the chain. And use the quick link pliers to squeeze the rollers together opening the quick link. With the old chain removed, we can install our new chain. But before we do that, we need to cut it to the correct length. Now, new chains are longer than they need to be so they can accommodate a wide range of bikes. And there are a couple ways to figure out what length you need to cut your chain to. If you're replacing an old chain that already worked well, you can just compare your new chain to the old chain. Lay them side by side or just count the links and get them to match up. If you're starting from scratch, maybe you threw your old chain away, maybe you're installing a new drivetrain, we like to use a method called Big Big Plus Two. Take your new chain and wrap it around the two biggest cogs of your drivetrain. That means your biggest chain ring, or if you have one by, your only chain ring, and the biggest cassette cog on your cassette. We do this without routing the chain through the rear derailleur. And we're gonna see where the end of the chain meets back up with the chain. And from that point, we're gonna add two links. That means one inner link and one outer link. This is where they meet. We're gonna add one outer, one inner link, adding two links. So we're gonna cut it right here. This ensures we have enough chain length to handle every gear combination on the bike. However, if you have a mountain bike with a one by 12 speed drivetrain, you do need to add a little bit extra chain so it can handle the wide range cassette. For SRAM Eagle, you're gonna to need to add four links. And for Shimano mountain bikes, you're gonna to need to add four links for hardtails and six links for full suspension bikes. After figuring out how many extra links to add, we're gonna cut the chain there. Keep in mind, inner links always join with outer links. And if you're using a quick link, you need to make sure the two ends of your chain are both inner links, otherwise the quick link won't work. It's always better if you're unsure to err toward cutting the chain longer because you can always cut it again later. Now that our chain is cut to the correct length, we're gonna route it through the derailleurs. A lot of rear derailleur cages have a tab on them, so make sure you route the chain on the correct side of this tab. It shouldn't rub against it or make any noise. To finish this install, we're gonna install our quick link. Now insert one half of the quick link into each end of the chain, and we're gonna bring them together and snap them together. Now, if some quick links have a directional arrow, and if it does, make sure that arrow is pointing in the direction the chain moves while you're pedaling. To lock in the quick link, we can use a pair of quick link pliers. If you don't have a pair of quick link pliers, just move the quick link to the top of the chain here, right there. What we're gonna do is put it on the ground, apply a little pedal pressure, boom, locked. Now that our chain is installed, we can check that everything shifts properly, go through the whole cassette. If it doesn't, you might need to adjust your indexing or B gap, but fortunately we have a couple videos covering that. With your brand new chain, make sure to keep it clean and lubed and go out and ride. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.